How goes it, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Larry, Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day. Um, today's subject matter is um, comes from an article that I read the other day. Real great article, um, Mister. All about Mister. Chris Goody, and he has become one of the first black-owned brick-and-mortar stores, juiceries to operate in a Whole Foods grocery stores. Not just one, but multiple grocery stores. Mr. Chris Goody's background's business story started in 2014 to honor his late grandmother, who he obviously had loved so much and had a lot of compassion for, who unfortunately died at the age of 61 from type 2 diabetes. And when it boils down to being an entrepreneur, there has to be something, some burning desire in your mind, body, and soul to change the trajectory of your life, in my personal opinion. I myself have a burning desire to change the trajectory of my life and have a lot more control of where I can live, how I want to live, etc., and so forth. So Mr. Goody stated that once I got to the juicing and health um, industry, I realized that um, 61 was way, way too young for his grandmother to pass away and he started to switch his lifestyle and press his family to do the same. In 2014, uh, Mr. Goody decided to put all that he had into his passion and newfound purpose. Mr. Goody told um, told um, the reporters in the article that uh, for, because of them, we can. Mr. Goody opened his first juicery in 2015 of July in the wonderful city of Kansas City, Missouri. And if you know who my favorite rapper is, it's, it's Tech Nine, who's from Kansas City, Missouri, as he calls it, KC Mo. Uh, Mr. Goody was uh, in a flagship location, what was known as a food desert. A lot of cities, major cities have food deserts, unfortunately. And it was the re red line slash racial area of Kansas City, Missouri. I've never been to Kansas City, Missouri, but every city has one, right? So the customers kept on coming in every ever since he opened the business doors. And of course, that is great news. Mr. Goody stated that him and his partners are the number one juicery in the state of Missouri, and they are the top 100 on Yelp in 2016 out of nearly 3 million people, businesses. That says a lot, you know, that really, that really freaking does. So I got to give him and his partners a lot of credit. And what really helped him increase his company's value is when their success captured the attention of Whole Foods. And Whole Foods offered Mr. Goody an opportunity to have a standing presence in one of their Kansas City stores. With this happening, it was much it was it was such an historic event in the city of Kansas City, Missouri. The article stated that while there are plenty of black owned vendors and suppliers who sell their products inside of Whole Foods, including Jive in Texas, Ruby Jeans Juicery is the is the is the only uh, that they've actually identified the, uh, thus far with an actual store housed inside of the grocery grocery store. And I know with all of this, it's only the beginning to even bigger and better things for Mr. Go Goody and his um, partners. And Mr. Goody actually hopes the visibility will give him more opportunities to share exactly who Ruby Jean, his, gra his um, grandmother was. And her whole uh, story matters. And I would imagine so, like I said, because the thing is with the, the boomers and the generation before that, very tough generation, tough as nails, always got nothing but love and respect for that generation, every generation. Um, but, you know, they, it was much tougher living during those time frames. And a lot of people didn't live as long as people do now because people weren't as healthy as people try to be now. And even in today's society, I don't know about you, but not just... Uh, price wise when it comes to food and, and beverages and then after that when it comes to um, what you want actually want to eat it is very hard sometimes to stay on a health kick as much as possible we all slip eventually um, but you know but you just have to try to keep a balanced diet as best as possible I know at least I try to I mean I've lost within the last year I've lost a significant amount of weight due to me cutting out lots of sugars um, and salty food and whatnot and I try to stay away from a, a lot of seasoned food. You know, I, I mean, I love chicken but I, I, and fish, but I, it doesn't need to be as seasoned because a lot of time it just makes me feel like crap. So eating healthier, and that's another reason why I picked this article, 
um, because Mr. Goody's story um, inspires me and hopefully it, it inspires you. But eating healthier, it's not about looks, it's about how you feel and about the quality of life. You know, forget the, the um, materialistic, chauvinistic nonsense. Let's be real about it, you know. Um, your, you know, your health is your wealth at the end of the day. I don't care who you are, what state, city, country you live in, town you live in, your health is your wealth and you have to do your best to um, be as healthy as possible. Nobody's saying you have to become a quote unquote health nut. But, you know, as we get older, you know, looking at what we intake and trying to cut down sugars and salts and seasoned food is in our best interest. You know, it's just what it is. I mean, heck, I've eaten some seasoned food and a little bit too much salt. And I feel like, you know, a little dehydrated and like crap. It's that old saying, you are what you eat. So um, it is what it is. So I give Mr. Goody and his story so much credit. You know, really, that's why I said it's the number one reason why I picked this story because I just give him so much credit in regards to promoting good health, um, especially within the African American community. Um, I, I like that. Um, but, anyways, I digress. That was my little soapbox moment. Um, but he says at the end of the day, he um, just truly um, wants to empower people to live healthy, you know, no matter what. And sharing his grandma's story, he feels that Ruby Jean, and there's a Ruby Jean in every family, no matter who you are. Another great thing is that the new Whole Foods location, the juicery, has two active Kansas City locations. One licensee, um, licensee in Springfield, Missouri, and they, and they are currently working on launching a partnership in Atlanta, Georgia. So, expansion. Beautiful. Ruby Jean's juicery has also an official partner of the U.S. Gymnastics Championship last year. Okay, so that just says a lot right there. Uh, they also offer healthy breakfast and lunch food options, as you can see. You know, so you got the good old juicers. I'm not a juicer person myself, but I do like healthy food. So for me, it's like if I'm going to eat healthy, I'd rather eat it instead of uh, just drink the specific beverages and whatnot. And, let, and if I did, I'd still rather eat the food because I don't feel full unless I'm eating specific food. But that's just me personally. But I think it's great, man. It's like, this is, you know, healthier living. You know, we're not all going to be, as as the old saying goes, skinny minis. You know, we're not all going to be bodybuilders and whatnot. However, we all can do our part when it comes to just trying to eat a little healthier. Um, when it comes to beverages, you know, drink a lot more water or a juicer. Um, and things of that nature. You know, it's like, cut cut down on the salty foods, you know, cut, cut down or, or try to cut out fast foods. You know, we all got our vices and whatnot. It's just all about moderation. And, um, you know, diabetes isn't a joke. You know, I've seen people suffer from it. So it's just something to definitely take as serious as much as possible. And with so many more people trying to become um, and live better and longer and healthier lifestyles, which I definitely agree with at all at the same time, Mr. Goody was asked how his grandmothers might react to the news about the store being honored in her name and its successes that Mr. Goody said um, at the end of the day, she would be very surprised, but very proud of him. And I think that that is one of the most comforting feelings that an entrepreneur can have is that when one builds something that can live out them, you know, whether it's a house, it's a store, it's a brand, whatever, and keep a close family member's name alive. Well, you know, that just means as much that could be as, um, deep as having a child or whatnot, you know? Um, it's not all about the money. I talk about money a lot on this channel, you know, but it's not all about the money. Mr. Goody stated that she grew up, uh, his grandmother grew up very poor and likely would just be honored that something she never could have dreamed of has actually happened. So that, like I said, that just, that, that gives you much more of a feeling of accomplishment and whatnot and being able to honor somebody at the same time. And to end this video off, I think about making money and to use that money to make more money all the time. But at the end of the day, you could be a person with all the money in the world and not appreciate anything at all. And I don't know about you all out there, but there are people that wish that they could be still alive today and just wish that they could have done a, a lot different in life as well. They would love to be in your position right now. So whenever you're complaining about life, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychologist, but whenever you're complaining about life, remember, you just need to be appreciative that you're alive. Unfortunately, and I think about this a lot more ever since the Kobe Bryant incident happened. Unfortunately, you know, those people did not think that they were going to die that day, but they, unfortunately they did. So 
Let's just appreciate life more. We're all trying to work and go after our dreams, you know. But, you know, life is life, is life but it's just to be appreciated and never taken for granted, you know. And I, and I, and I leave it at that, you know. I, never take it for granted. So appreciate being alive and start going after your dreams too. Don't just be mundane. Don't be normal. Stop with the normalcy, okay? This, being normal does not work anymore. <laughs> You know, go after your dreams so that you don't have to live a life that others can have control of. Because a lot of people will just coast through life because it's one, it's the easiest thing to do. And two, because it's what they were told to do. And I don't know about you, but after a while, you just get tired of being told what to do. Like, that's just my personal opinion. You know, it's like change. The only way that one can truly change the trajectory of their life is by taking action. OK, I make these videos. I don't make as many because I'm spending my time taking action going after my dreams and whatnot, okay? And if for those of you who are not familiar with my background, I do wholesaling, which I got a deal today and I'm actually trying to work on that now. Wholesaling real estate, I sell products, I have a care bars business, which basically you can buy gold and refer other people and make money off of their referrals and off of their, their uh, gold that they purchase all at the same time. That's the business of Larry's Anything Goes and Patterson No Properties, all in the one. But I'm working on my dreams every single day while maintaining a job at the same time. So never ever let somebody tell you you can't do something just because they can't do something. We have a lot of naysayers out here and the best thing to do is to treat them like a television and turn them off or like a cell phone and turn it off. Don't ever let somebody down you, okay? This man could have did that Mr. Goody came from humble beginnings. He was not born with a silver spoon in his mouth and look where he's at today in a state where you have to be hustle hard okay kansas city missouri is not a state where it's just easy to get a job and you know flourish and prosper and whatnot you know it's easier to do that in places like new york and the dm well um yeah new new york because of the plethora of jobs and when i even though it's overpriced the dmv area dc washington dc northern virginia maryland area um than it is in other parts of the country so when I see somebody like this actually getting it in and hustling hard, you know, by by owning something, I got to highlight it. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please uh, share. Definitely subscribe. Check out the online store. If you want to be a part of my investment team, Care Bars International, sign up for free as an affiliate. You know, you got to do it today because if not, you know, you're always going to be working for somebody tomorrow. Always have a backup plan. Take care. And oh yeah, don't forget can't get fired if you own the company. So own something. Take care.